Oh, hello. I'm just checking on my uh, lentils that are sprouting. But it looks like it's going to be another couple of days before they are ready. So we're going to put it back in the oven. And that's going to be another video that we're going to be doing. Uh, today we're going to be doing something entirely different. It's, uh, I've had so many requests for a sweeter video. Uh, so I've selected the most popular dessert, saffron kheer or rice pudding. Traditionally, rice kheer is made on stove top on, in a heavy base pan. The milk is reduced on low heat for hours. But today I'm going to show you a very easy and efficient way to make the very same delicious kheer using the slow cooker or the crock pot. You will need a crock pot, bowl, mortar and pestle, and a ladle. Half a cup of short grain rice, seven cups of homo milk, eight tablespoons of sugar, handful of raisins, six green cardamoms crushed, half a cup of slivered almonds. Clean and wash rice in cold water and set aside. Soak saffron strands in two teaspoons of warm milk. Soak almonds in hot water for a couple of hours. Open cardamom pods, crush seeds using mortar and pestle, set aside. Simply add rice and milk to the slow cooker, cover and cook on high heat for four hours. Please note, depending on how strong your slow cooker is, you may be cooking on high heat for, for, for the first hour and then reducing to low. If you are unsure, check frequently for signs of burning milk adhering to the bottom of the pan. For my older cooker, I was able to cook the kheer on high heat for four hours before reducing to low. The secret to obtaining a creamy kheer is to add the sugar towards the end when rice is completely cooked. Adding earlier will prevent the rice from breaking down. While the kheer is cooking, remove almond skins and chop into slivers. Set aside. About two hours later, you will notice a white creamy ring forming around the original level. It will get darker as the kheer is cooking. This is normal. Do not mix it into the kheer. After three and a half hours, milk should have reduced to a third of its original amount and rice granules break down. Use a wire whisk to break up the rice granules further to make a smooth and creamy kheer. Add raisins and half of cardamoms. In four hours, add sugar, mix until dissolved. Add almonds and remaining crushed cardamom seeds. Turn the crock pot off. Towards the end, add saffron milk and mix well. Spiced rice pudding infused with saffron and garnished with nuts. Serve this dish chilled or at room temperature. Saffron kheer can be a delicious twist on a classic dessert or a delectable substitute for maple syrup on your pancakes. Thanks for watching. Press like and subscribe for more recipes and stop by my website pastamasala.com or better yet buy my cookbook and start cooking right away.